Regarding stability on AMD, I'm going to give you an answer you're not going to like. Well, it also depends what he, I mean, he. I bought an X670E Pro Art Creator motherboard from ASUS. You said that was 500? It's 500. Your X670 Gigabyte Aorus Master was 500. They are stable AF. Well, and then we're, we know that- $150 boards are not. And I know that people are going to say, well, I have one and it's fine. Great. Awesome. I'm, obviously, they work at all or nobody would buy them and they'll all be returned. But I've had a lot of cheap AMD motherboards over the past six years. They're very hit and miss. Some of them have been okay. You want to show everyone the question? So, Neil Guides, thank you for the uh, direct support. He's got a 5900X CPU with a crosshair hero motherboard at the moment. Heavy multitasker. Is it worth waiting for Zen 5 or going the 7950X 3D plus 4090 and upgrading later? Or is it worth moving to Intel? I mean... Is there competitive gaming in there? Is that what part of the heavy multitasking is? Also well, whether you go to a 7950X 3D or a a 13 or a 14900K or a thir or 14 well, if you're gonna if you're considering that, then a 14900K would be your only other option. And if you've got 4090 money, you might as well. Um, I'm actually an expensive video card right now. Can, can and it also depends what you're multitasking because some stuff likes AMD and some stuff likes Intel. So, you know, there's a whole use case there that... Our video editing PC at the office is a 13900K. My machine at home is a 7950X. They are both stupid fast. This is like arguing about whether a Ferrari or a Lamborghini is fast. Yes. Yes. Well, which one's faster? It depends upon your use case because like one might be faster at a drag strip and the other is faster at a certain track or one's fat. They're both so... In all likelihood, your driving skill is probably lower than both cars' capabilities. Mm -hmm. How good of a driver do you have to be to really ring those cars out to their maximum potential? Very good. Look okay. at Tenet Faust with what he does. So... When you're at that level, it almost doesn't matter. You you're, just, they're both so quick. Do you want an AMD build? Do you want an Intel build? I mean, at that level. The, the 14900K from a multitasking content creation point of view is faster than a 7800X 3D. Did I say 7800X? 7950X. I'm getting to my expiry time too. A 7950X 3D. We'll go get food here in a minute. Yay. So. There's nothing wrong with waiting a year. Here's the funny thing. Here you go. Let's back. Hold on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I have a 4090 streaming and gaming editing at the same time. Yeah. So you, you need all of it. Hold on a second. He needs all of it. I have two things to say. Number one. This is not for you. Well, it is for you. It's for everybody. Everybody. If you have 4090 money, that is an extremely expensive video card. Why are you not on the best platform? I firmly believe mm -hmm. that 4090s belong on a previously a 13900K or a 7950X or a 7950X 3D and nowhere else. 1400K? Well, they didn't exist when the 49 oh, launched. Okay. But right. now a 1400K. <laughs> oh, I see. What you're the 4090 that. is Because the 3090 wasn't that much faster than the 3080, I think a lot of people miss a key point. The the 4080 to the 4090 is 30 to 40% faster. It is rare that the two top end cards from NVIDIA are that far apart. It is hellaciously fast. I would also remind you that even at 4K on a 13900K, the 4090 can still be CPU bottleneck. It can be sitting there sleeping. I mean, it's it, that fast. Well, let's have a look. He's um... Spider Man Remastered. I've shown that. So he's streaming, 
gaming, editing at the same time. So There's only two CPUs to look at and you should not be on a 5900X for that. No. Because you have the money for better. Now, it, I would have upgraded already, but eh, it's water under the bridge. Now, let me back up a second because we have a lot of people watching who aren't needle guides. This is a great CPU. Most people should keep the CPU. Mm -hmm. The Ryzen 9 5900X is a great CPU. Our two younger kids both have Ryzen 9 5900Xs. I'm not replacing them. I have CPUs in the office I could replace. I could put a 5950X in one. I could probably replace the other with a something or other. It isn't worth the energy and the time to rip the machines apart and to take stable working machines and take them apart. The 5900X is a great chip, but I would never in a million years put a 4090 on it. Princess Stormy has a 4070. 70, yeah. Perfect for that chip. The use case matches. She plays it, for, for those of you curious, Princess Stormy plays Fortnite. Yeah. Fairly very, competitively. Very well. She may start Twitch streaming in the next year. She's, she's good. Yeah. I'm not biased. I'm just her parent. She plays at 1440p on a 144 hertz monitor with a Ryzen 9 5900X and an RTX 4070. A 4090 would require a complete system upgrade. Mm -hmm. In that case, yes. It really would. But I'm not putting a 4090 in there because... Believe it or not, Dad's not made a 4090s or money. Um, and that's just silly. Now, the opposite is okay. Look at Matt's comment. I'm okay with that. I mean, the 4090s are currently really expensive. I don't think you should... I mean, the 4090s are two grand. These are 1200 If you go with a lower graphics card and a better CPU... C CPUs are complete system rebuilds when you change them unless it's an AMD upgrade. But video cards are a five minute swap. When the 5080 or 5090 comes out, you can upgrade that in five minutes. Yeah, so what do you do to answer his question? What was his, oh. I just don't want to spend 700 pounds on a motherboard and then for it to be replaced again if a new, you don't need to spend 700 pounds on a motherboard. Well, that's what he did on his crosshair. On the motherboard he's gone. The hero? That's what he said. Six hundred bucks. Um. Three hundred dollars. Well, you're not in the U.S. Um, in the U.S., three hundred dollars is perfectly fine for an Intel motherboard. There's no need to spend more than three hundred dollars on a motherboard, even for a fourteen nine hundred K. Um, for AMD, I'd spend 400 for a 7950X 3D. You can currently get... I won't show this, but... Uh, I'm thinking. X670E Pro Art. What's the Pro Art at the moment? I mean 460... Mm. That's been $5 cheaper. Um, it, here's your motherboard, for example. Oh, yeah. The Gigabyte X670 Eorus is 450. Hmm. That is, a, I mean, that thing is just a beast. The nice thing about spending a bit more on, to answer this question, on AMD, her Gigabyte Aorus Master X670E is currently 450 on Amazon in the United States. I don't know what they are in the UK. My motherboard is an X670 Pro Art creator from ASUS. It's also about 450. But they have a future upgrade path. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. I would not. I paid $500 for my motherboard a year ago. I would not pay $500 for a motherboard that's one and done. But I was okay to pay it. Because it has an upgrade path. It has 10 gig networking, USB 4. Um, every, everything on the board works. There's four M.2 slots, and you can put something in every slot. You can put something in every M.2 he slot. So the X670 Hero costs 830 US at the moment. 
Well, don't buy that. For him. The hero boards are... Uh, Asus is charging dumb money. Um... Let's see what Newegg wants for the hero. Yeah, they want $650 for the hero. That's ridiculous. Stop buying raw get boards. The Republic you, of Gamers is branding. You play They're the exact same boards. Buy a pro art. You're paying the tax. You're paying the ROG tax. We're showing the pro art. This is, uh, let me look at what's on the screen first. So in the US, the ROG Crosshair X670E Hero is $400 and, uh, $645. I would never pay that. That is dumb. Yep. But the pro art. Yeah, that's fine. You got two and a half gig. Um, you got 10 gig and two and a half gig LAN. USB 4. Four M.2 slots. And everything works. You can plug something. This board is so feature complete. You can put something into, see these, there's, there's three slots? Yep. You can put something in all three slots. Yep. You can put something in every M.2 slot. Yep. You don't lose SATA ports. Yep. You don't lose USB ports. Everything on the board works. Yeah. Very, nice. very few consumer boards do that. We've talked about Everything that. on that board works at the same time. And it's $200 less than the ROG Hero. Yeah. It just doesn't say Republic of Gamers. And you get to save money. There you go. He answered. You're very welcome, man. Happy to help you. Have you guys heard about this? Cable mod, voluntary safety recall of cable mod uh, power adapters for the 16 pin, 180 degree and 90 degree angle adapters. Stop using them immediately. I don't know about the rest of you. I still use the adapter that came with my 4090, the four eight pin to one 16 pin and it works just fine. It isn't bent over at 180 degrees and it's giving me no issues. I don't know. I don't have enough of them to know if there really was a batch problem with the 16 pin adapters. What I will say is that I suspect either people didn't click them in all the way. The clicking action is kind of lame. You really have to make sure it's fully in and not just partially in. And then make sure it's not bent hard around. Like if you're in a, the 4090s and the 4080s are huge. If you have a relatively narrow case, there's no room for the cable to move around. And so I'll bet a lot of those adapters got bent pretty hard. Okay. No. Sample size of just a couple, but that's just an observation. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.